Well, in the fire industry, we have so many different businesses. And one business that's here today is the City of London Livery Company, and they're called the Worshipful Company for Firefighters. And now, um, Vivian, tell us a little bit more about what you guys do, because it's not a typical company that you would find within the fire industry, are you? Uh, well, possibly not. <laughs> um, but uh, yes, uh, my name is Viv Jones, and I'm a past master of the Worshipful Company of Firefighters. The Worshipful Company is a City of London livery company, and livery companies go back to some 800 years. Uh, they were originally formed as uh, guilds to, whether it's to protect their industry or to monitor their industry, to help the apprentices along within those industries and trades. Well, these companies uh, became, uh, I suppose, moved towards a more modern era over the years. And in some cases they became the key people to look after a specific industry like the goldsmiths that would still be putting the assay marks on gold. Uh, we're a slightly different organisation and we're classified as one of the more modern or the modern companies. So since the 30s there's been more uh, new companies coming to, to light and we are the 103rd of the City of London livery companies. What do we actually do? Well, we have members that join the company, of course, and we have a charitable trust. But we hold, for example, the annual fire lecture, and we would be speaking and presenting at that lecture leading edge technologies or concerns for the industry as a whole. And uh, so that is something that we're really proud of. That's developed very well indeed. We're not afraid of going to contentious areas either. And uh, But the, the membership of the company is made up of ex-firefighters, fire chiefs, uh, operational people now, fire people from the fire industry such as myself. I came from the alarm or are, I'm in the alarm industry. So it's a very broad church. We also have the approvals authority people and research. So it's a very, very broad membership. But it, it's unique within the city of London uh, because usually you only have or you expect to only have one company that rep represents a particular group, and that's what the firefighters do. Fantastic, and you've got something rather special coming up as well, you know, as well as supporting the fire industry, you also have um, an event that you might want to tell us about. Well, we think every year is a special year, um, and so, uh, uh, but I must just mention that next year is going to be an even greater year because it's the 350th anniversary of the Great Fire of London. So the London will be ablaze a with uh, <laughs> events. But for this year, uh, let, it lead, let, let it be enough to announce uh, the 2015 annual uh, Fire Industry Charity Ball. And this is what one of the things that we organise on behalf of the fire industry, on behalf of the charitable trust of the company. And uh, we look for sponsors. And uh, generally, we get some 300 uh, people there that have a fantastic night. Nothing is taken out for the organisation of the event, so any money is raised is all going into the f fire industry, or fire uh, company of firefighters charitable trust, and then dispensed to the various uh, charities we're involved with. Well, I mean, it sounds like an incredible event. I mean, what would that money that you raise on that evening get spent on? You know, how important is it to raise those funds? Very important. If I just mention, uh, for example, uh, raft. Um, they are involved with the uh, creation, if you like, of artificial skin, uh, for which of course is highly valuable in terms of people that have had burns. And uh, so we, we, we have been involved for them, with them for many years and helped them. On a, a different note, we would be helping um, cadet forces in the, of the fire brigade, where these youngsters are taken off the street that may have a difficult background or an environment, they would be perhaps lost to the community as decent youngsters. Well, they, they, they undertake training. They get fire training. Um, they get uh, through that fire training, they get those skills. They learn the benefit of respect and giving respect. And of course, um, makes them better youngsters. 
which is good for the community. So we're very proud of that too. Vivian Jones, I think that's definitely some brilliant reasons to get involved and come along to the charity ball. And also you get the opportunity to put your dancing shoes on. You do. <laughs> and I think you'd look magnificent in a ball gown, so you must come. <laughs> stop it oh if you insist <laughs> well thank you so much and make sure if you are interested to find out more do you know what stand number you are c122 get, get down to c112 and find out more about this worshipful company of firefighters vivian thank you so much thank you.